Welcome to Grandma Daffy's kitchen. I have been cooking ever since I was five years old. So that means I've been cooking about 66 years. I have 10 children and I have 40 grandchildren. And they're my greatest fans. Welcome to Grandma Daffy's kitchen. I got a good one for you today. I'm going to do a recipe from my latest cookbook that's at the publisher. It's called Dorothy's Healthy Cuisine. It hasn't uh, been published yet. It's at the publisher being published. And so this is going to be a broccoli casserole. Now what I'm going to do is put the bro broccoli. This is frozen broccoli. So I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in, I'm going to steam it for about 15 minutes before I put it in the casserole, okay? And what I'm going to do is put in, instead of salt, I'm going to put in garlic salt, a little garlic salt to wake up the flavor, just to taste, probably about a tablespoonful, okay? And then some black pepper about two teaspoons full of black pepper, okay? Then I'm gonna take this over to the, uh, to the stove and I'm going to steam it on the stove for about 15 minutes. Then I'll come back and I'll show you how I'm going to put this casserole together, okay? See, because it's frozen, I'm gonna let it steam for about 15 minutes to, to thaw out and to uh, to, to, to get the flavors of the seasoning in, in it. Uh, now that it's steamed, uh, we, put, we put it in the pot frozen. So it's, you see how it's nice and steamed so that the, the seasoning can set in? Now we're going to put it in the casserole dish, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna spray the dish with the, um, you know, this is cooking spray so it won't, won't uh, Stick. Okay, just spray the spray, you spray your dish. And then we're going to the next thing we're going to do is pour this over in that. Now, if you have um, cheese, regular cheese, you pour half and then you put the um, you can use regular cheese or you can use cheese that's um, already melted cheese, see? And this is a cheese salsa because I wanted to have a little heat to it because the grandkids love heat. So I brought the cheese that's already mixed. See, and I'm going to spread the cheese over the top, like so. Just spread the cheese over it. Take all the cheese out of the jar and just spread it over the top. And there you have it. Now, if you have any type, you can use any type of cheese you want. So if you have uh, grated, you have cheese that you have to grate, you can do that too. You know, whatever cheese that you prefer. But I like to make it easy, so I got the cheese that that's already prepared. Okay. There you have it. And we're going to put the top on it. And we're going to put it at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. We're going to cook it for about 20 minutes in the oven, 320, uh, um, 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. And I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Now that the casserole is ready, we're going to take it out of the oven.
there you have it cheese and broccoli casserole now how simple is that and how fast is that and how easy is that easy right the mississippi soul food way eat some today so happy eating to you you can have this today your way from Dr. Soul Food Kitchen. I have a brand new cookbook. And many of my recipes are in this cookbook. And I would like for you to purchase one. Thank you for watching Grandma Dr. Soul Food Kitchen. <laughs>